Do you see me? Yep. Oh, good. Okay, okay. I'm so excited. All right, guys. I have been wanting to do this video with Jonathan Montoya because he has been putting out some awesome content on YouTube. And I have been watching the videos and he thoroughly explains what to do in Pinterest step by step. And it is so easy to follow. So I wanted to interview him from a whole newbie standpoint because just by watching his videos has made me very interested in Pinterest because it seems so, he makes it look so easy and pretty awesome. So um, I wanted to, you know, talk to him about how you can start from the beginning. Like, I mean, if I had a picture ready for Pinterest, what am I supposed to do with it? Hello, Jonathan, do you think you could help me with this? I mean, because if this would help me, a complete newbie, start on Pinterest, tell me what to do with a picture, I bet it would help some other people too. What do you think? Definitely, definitely. First of all, thank you, Charlotte, for having me on here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you my Pinterest tricks and strategies, how I would do it like from a complete beginner. The cool thing is um, some of my newer accounts, I actually just started maybe like one account maybe two weeks ago, another one uh, like a couple months ago. I'm already getting like over 500 to 1,000 clicks on some of these um, some of these funnels, some of these blogs that I'm getting traffic to, and it's all free traffic from Pinterest. So super exciting. But I actually started using Pinterest for my Shopify store, my drop shipping uh, back about two years ago. And now like, I don't really actively manage it and I'm getting traffic. I'm getting people buying, like, like I'm not even doing anything. I'm still getting people to buy. So that's kind of how I first started with Pinterest. Now I use it for my affiliate marketing business, my blog, stuff like that. And I just started that, like I said, like a couple months ago. Wow, but I bet you're already doing great. Yeah, no, like I said, I, um, I'm getting tons of clicks, tons of people going into my blogs, my YouTube, and that's kind of how I've been getting a ton of free traffic. And the cool thing was pit with Pinterest is you're going to get free traffic kind of like for life, you know, I mean, not for life, but you're going to get it for a long time, kind of like Google, where it's SEO, people are always searching for something. So Pinterest works the same way where, you know, people are searching for a certain thing. And, uh, you know, if it's a good, if it's a good blog, if it's a good pen, a good picture, then they're going to rank you for a while. Okay. Evergreen traffic, evergreen, evergreen traffic. Exactly. That's what Pinterest is, is all about. So see, and that's, what's making me so interested because I told myself that I'm staying away from Pinterest. I, I I'm just not going to do it. Not going to go there. And then started watching all your videos because, oh my gosh, guys, you need to go to his YouTube channel. And watch his videos on Pinterest because you will want to do Pinterest as well. So, but like I said, I started thinking, hmm, as a complete newbie, okay, so I had this picture, um, because you're obviously more advanced. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I'm like, okay, so I have a picture. Hmm, what would I do with it? And I noticed a lot of other people had kind of asked some similar questions when it came to Pinterest. Yeah. So, who to turn to, but you, so Awesome. that you, you know, like I said, if I'm having these questions, even though they're, they're sit with, I, you know, to you, they're probably simple and easy. Mm -hmm. I bet a bunch of other people would have them too. So I think that we should show them and help them out. What do you think? Let's do it. I'll show you uh, what I would do like step-by-step step, exactly how I would, you know, try to rank a picture in Pinterest. So yeah, I can share my screen. I can show what I would do. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so let me share my screen real quick. Let me know if you can see what everything here. Okay, okay can you see? One second. Two seconds. Bingo! Took two seconds. All right, apologize for my 500 uh, tabs on, on Google Chrome. It's okay, <laughs> but, I thought um, mine I had 52 in one second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, this is one of my accounts that I just started about two months ago. As you can see, I already have about 63,000 monthly viewers. So that's awesome. I'm getting a ton of traffic already. And like I said, this, this is a pretty new as far as like an account, okay? I can show you my, my uh, other one real quick. This is the one I started a few years ago. This is my drop shipping one. Um, this is, uh, let me see here. So yeah, this one has 200,000 monthly viewers. I actually haven't posted in here in, in, in months, but 
anyways, I just want to show you the power of like how, you know, of Pinterest, but let me go ahead and just show you what I would do to like post a picture. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to go through the whole setup unless you want me to, but, um, I mean, mainly you just want to make sure your account looks nice. You want to have a bunch of boards set up. Do you know what a board is? Yep. Okay. So you want to make sure you have, uh, you know, like at least 10 boards in your Pinterest account before you even start posting and then fill up those boards with, you know, other people's pins, stuff like that. But okay, let me just go ahead and, and I'll show you what I would do to, to, uh, post a picture. Okay. So if you go to the top right here and you're going to hit create pin. Okay. And the goal here is to get a picture and drive people to our blog, to our YouTube video, uh, to our funnel, to our affiliate products, whatever it is. So you can do that with Pinterest. The nice thing about Pinterest is they're affiliate friendly. So they let you post affiliate links. So say, uh, you know, you go to ClickBank and you find a product, you get, you know, an affiliate link. You can literally put that straight into Pinterest and you're allowed to do that instead oh. of like creating a bridge page. Um, obviously I'd recommend creating a bridge page, but, um, just letting you know you can do that. But anyways, okay, so I already have some pictures done, already already made, so we're not going to go through that. But uh, let me see here. Let's see if I can find one. So this is, uh, let's choose this one here. This is for uh, a blog that I created. So this, this one I'm going to be having people go to a certain blog, uh, basically how to use Pinterest for growth, okay? Now, let me show you what I would do to kind of, figure out my title and all that good stuff. So I use, have you ever heard of Uber suggest? Yes, but I don't think I've used it. Uh, basically it's a free tool that allows you to do keyword research. Remember Pinterest is, is big on SEO meaning search engine optimization. So people are going to be searching for certain keywords. So I want to, I want the keywords that are going to be uh, highly searched. Okay. So in this case, our, our pin is about Pinterest, growth or Pinterest business. So let's just type in that and see what we find. So Pinterest, let's put Pinterest market and see what we get. And it'll give you a ton of ideas, um, you know, about that subject. So I'm just going to kind of do some quick research. Okay. This so if is you good. go to keyword ideas in here, let me move this here. All right. So here you can see the volume. So how much um, searches per month people are searching. So in this case, a thousand people are searching per month and the SD is basically the difficulty. You, you typically want this under 30. So the good thing about this pin is it's pretty easy to rank for. Um, so I'm just going to pick one here. So let's see, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do this one here just because I'm an affiliate marketer and I use Pinterest for affiliate marketing. So Pinterest for affiliate marketing. So it's super easy to rank for only a 14. That's even better. So Pinterest for affiliate marketing. So the lower the number, the better. Exactly. If you can get like a five or 10, you're, you're, you're going to rank. But, um, but yeah, 14 is really good as well. Anything under 30, obviously if you can get it lower, but you also want the volume to be higher as well. You know, you want that kind of balance. Lots of people searching, but easy to rank for, meaning people are going to find your, your pin. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to start with that title. Um, remember, this is very important to have the keyword in here. Okay. So mm -hmm. Pinterest for affiliate marketing. Now I'm going to add some stuff just to, um, just to make it sound better. So how to use Pinterest for affiliate marketing. So we have our keyword there and you can do something like step by step guide. This kind of just helps the user out just to know what they're getting. But Pinterest is looking at this. Okay. They're looking at the keyword. Now that, so that's all done. The title's done. We did our research. Now Pinterest also looks at the description as well. So you'd want to write a good description in here with the keywords in there. So I always like to add my keyword in there. So you can put um, in this blog. I'm going to show you how to use Pinterest for affiliate marketing. I'm not sure what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> it changed on its own. It did. Okay. In this blog, I'm going to show you how to do use Pinterest marketing or Pinterest for affiliate marketing. And then you can kind of expand. You have actually 500 characters in here, but basically you want to use the keyword throughout the description. Obviously you don't want to keyword stuff. So you don't want to just like, like just add a bunch of random keywords in there. You want to make sure it's user friendly because remember Pinterest is uh, wants people to have a good user experience. So you want a good description here, you know, take some time on that. 
Uh, I'm not going to go through it all because it's 500 characters, but basically you would write a good description. And then at the end of the description, make sure to put um, hashtags. That's really important. So Pinterest marketing, um, Pinterest business, just something. This just helps Pinterest know what your pin is about. So I actually read the whole Pinterest engineering blog <laughs> and it was like, like thousands of pages. I mean, no one really reads that, but I'm interested in how it works. You but read Pinterest, it though. You read it. I did. So they look at a lot of things. There's so much to it. Um, obviously the title is one, is one of them. Um, the description, the hashtags, and then what's crazy is they actually look at the picture now. The, they have AI, which is artificial, artificial intelligence, and they look at the picture. They even look at the words in the picture, and they want to make sure everything is congruent to what you're trying to do. So, you know, everything needs to make sense as far as the picture, the description, everything makes sense, then it's easy to rank. Now, at the end here, once you do your description, you want to add- How many tags should you do? I'm sorry? How many tags? Like you did two. So how oh, many? Oh, um, actually I would do three. So let's do one more. So Pinterest okay. traffic, something like that. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, three or four. That's kind of what I was, uh, based on the engineering blog, that's kind of what they were saying. Basically hashtags just help kind of Pinterest, you help them even better know what you're trying to talk about here. Okay. Now, um, yeah, exactly. So in this case, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my blog and get the link. So now you want to add the link to um, where you want them to go. Let me see if I can find that here. I believe. So, uh, yeah. So I like to, you know, if you don't have a blog, um, I, I would, you know, use a blog because they like when people send uh, pins to blogs because, like I said, the user experience, people want a blog. You know, that's what Pinterest is looking for. But if you don't have one, that's fine. You can send them straight to your um affiliate link or YouTube videos, stuff like that. Let me see which one. I think it was this one here. No, I sure got my blog now that we got our started and doing learning all of our blogging with our course we're doing. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're taking the 30 day legendary challenge. So they're teaching us how to create a blog without having your own blog using medium. So that's, that's no, I'm not idea. using medium. I had already had my own site and this gave me an excuse just to put my blogs on my site. Exactly. Yeah. But if you don't have a blog, you can use medium.com, which is a free site to, um, to create your own blog, you know, when you're first starting out. But anyways, you would put your uh, link in here. I'm not sure why it's not showing, but yeah, it's in there. So you just copied it to the bottom. Yeah. It's uh, I don't know why it's not showing right now, but, but yeah, it's in there. And basically I just took the link to my blog and this is the blog I wrote on that and it's all in there. But basically, um, Pinterest so is if also you go Pinterest and you clicked on it. It's going to go to your blog. Exactly. So once I post this, um, let me see here. So once I publish this, mm -hmm. um, now it's live and people, if they find this, they click the picture, it's going to go straight to here, which is my blog. Okay. So it goes straight there. Okay. Yes. And, um, I was, uh, I, I was, um, Pinterest also looks at the, like where the URL is going. So mm -hmm. they won't rank you if you're just like, so, like say you're, this is about Pinterest affiliate marketing or whatever, but if you send them to like a random page, like they're not going to rank you. So obviously they're going to look at the titles here and they want to make sure everything matches. So like I was saying, they look at everything. They even look at like where you're trying to take them to now. So it's the whole user experience. That's what Pinterest is worried about. But um, it has to be legit. The right site, the right combining, the right tags. Exactly. Everything just should be congruent, and it should be congruent anyways. You know, like you shouldn't be trying to trick someone into going to some random site or something. But yeah, basically, just make sure everything's congruent and all that good stuff. Um, last thing here is you want to publish this to a board. So that remember, you created these boards. Like when you, when you first get started, you're creating these boards. In this case, um, you want to do the most congruent board. Let, I'm going to do probably maybe blogging tips because it's about kind of blogging, Pinterest growth, but something that is most relevant. So I'll publish that. Uh, I probably should have filled out the description more, but for time purposes, I can go there and redo it. But anyways, um, that's all done. And that's it. That's pretty much how you would publish a post on Pinterest. But um, the thing is, yeah, yeah. So pretty easy, right? Yeah. And I'm telling you, like I was just, someone else was um, doing, it was, in, it was in some type of interview and they were talking how, they use Pinterest and everything and like, and all of the comments, tons of people was asking this same 
thing, the same question, and they didn't answer it. And I'm like, that makes sense. You know, you, even though, you know, you have this, they're explaining how you can, you know, SEO and how it works, but they did, no one ever said, and I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen it where they've actually said, this is where you take a picture, you put it on Pinterest and, and what you do. You know, just like you just right. made it look easy, but you make everything look easy. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never seen that. So that's why I was, that's why, you know, I asked you, I'm like, hey, can you show me this? So yeah, right. that, makes, that looks really simple. And like these other people that was, you know, asking questions, they were really confused too. So, so that's right. Awesome. right. Well, I mean, the thing you got to realize is, uh, you know, most people get on Pinterest and just start posting pictures yeah. that it's, it's important to do the research. The keyword research is very important. You know, you know, cause you're a blogger, so you have to do the keyword research for Google. Well, it's the same thing for Pinterest, you know, so you want to want to make sure the keyword is you have the keyword you're using and then you want to make sure that keyword is congruent with your description and the picture and the blog or wherever you're sending them to. So, but yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it is simple. Uh, you know, once you know how to do it, I mean, it, you, know, you start driving traffic today, you know, it works really well. Heck yeah. That's like totally awesome. And you even showed how to, you can, they can do, anyone can just go to that, that site and you know, I've gone to that, that Uber suggest and sometimes you just use something and you forget about it. So, um, I right, use right. the keywords anywhere for like everything, but yeah, I forgot about that and I'm going to start using this. So someone, you know, someone watching this video can now go and use their picture and post it to their Pinterest and they know how to go to Uber suggest and look it up. Oh, tell everyone the size of their picture has to be because you can't just randomly post in any size picture. So they want a 600 by 900. So it's like a long, like a long type picture. So I think that's the, uh, so yeah, the dimension should be like a two to one basically. So okay, yeah, that's pretty important. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, um, you can create your photos in Canva, which is a free website where you can go and create your photos. Um, for me, I, I, I outsource. So I go to, you can go to Fiverr and pay like five, 10 bucks for like 10 photos. Um, I actually, you know, I have a bunch of photos here that want to be posted here. So here's one, um, that, and these were all created. Like I, like I said, I paid like 10 bucks, I think like five, 10 bucks to get all these created. And I these outsource mine too. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I just don't have the time to create them. So, you know, this is all created for me and all I gotta do is post them, you know, once I did the research. So, and for me, I, like I said, mostly I tried to get people to my blogs, my YouTube videos. Like for example, here, this is for my YouTube video. Um, some of, sometimes I'll, I'll go to my like affiliate offers, stuff like that. But yeah, so like I mean, on your video, because you know I have my YouTube channel that I'm trying to grow. So like on the YouTube, so you had your post kind of like you did on that one, and we put the blog link. So do you just put um, at the bottom, you put your video link? Exactly, yeah. So this one I just posted not too long ago here. Um, you can tell it's a YouTube video because of the little photo, and I like that photo in there, so I try to keep that in there just so people know. But yeah, basically this is about um, – you know, how to, how to make money online. So, you know, they click this and it'll go straight to my YouTube video. So that easy, that easy. See, and I told you I wasn't ever going to use Pinterest because I was like, no, that just sounds too confusing. I even have a course that has it where they teach it and, and, and which I'm telling you, they didn't even start something simple, but it was kind of over my head. I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing <laughs> yeah. it. And then I started watching your videos. Well, I'm glad you started watching them. I mean, I, I try to make everything simple. I mean, I think mm -hmm. most people online make everything kind of hard. Mm -hmm. And I, that's what I try to do with like my channel. I just try to make everything as simple as possible. And you're easy to follow. I really like that. Appreciate it. Yeah. So just like this, this is simple. This is easy. Oh my gosh. So see, not only does this help me, I really think it's going to help others too, which is, you know, which is why we do this. Well, yeah, Pinterest is super powerful. I mean, not a lot of people are using it and um but exactly the thing is the people that are using it uh the stats are showing that like 80 percent of people have made a purchase from pinterest so like people are there to purchase to do research so pinterest is extremely powerful i mean yeah. like for example this one was posted not too long ago and i have you know 1.7 thousand people saw it 12 people saved it nine people have clicked on it i mean people i mean some of these pins do go viral, you know, like this one right here, 
already 33 clicks. That's 33 free clicks, you know? So. Wow. And does it actually help you in your business? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because like for me, I'm trying to get exposure to my YouTube channel, create value for people, you know, get people to my blog. You know, once I get people to start following me, you know, I, I think I provide enough value where they'll follow me for forever, you know? So that's the goal is to get people to find me. And then from there, it's my job just to create good content, you know, on YouTube and blogging and all that good stuff. But you're doing a good job. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of new to this. Uh, you know, I've been doing affiliate marketing since May, 2019. So about four months for that five months. So yeah, I'm still kind of new, just really just trying to create good content and like I said, make things easy for people to follow stuff like that. Well, you're doing a good job because I've been doing it longer than you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been doing online stuff for a while. Um, you know, I started, like I said, with drop shipping and then I created my own product and then actually went to affiliate marketing. So I kind of went backwards, but no, uh, I did. Well, I started with drop shipping too. I did. Very cool. I, yeah. I had an e-commerce store and that's how I first kind of got into it. And then I found ClickFunnels and then they had that affiliate course and I thought, Oh, how cool. And so, yeah. Yeah, no, that's kind of what happened to me. Um, although I still do drop shipping, but I, I don't do it. It's totally passive now. Pinterest literally brings in tons of sales, tons of clicks. So it, it literally pays for itself. The only thing I got to do is just fulfill the orders. So make your, do you, do you make your own thing? Oh, well, you said you outsource that with your own. Of course you got to take your own pictures. You can't use a picture of someone else. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Well, it's drop shipping so I can use, uh, you know, the photos that I have and then we'll put that into a Pinterest post and Oh yeah. I was talking about um, your, your affiliate, affiliate marketing. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, it, Pinterest is, is not hard to use. You just gotta, you just gotta take action. You just gotta start using it, start learning it. And that's it. I mean, you'll start getting traffic. I mean, like I said, this, this account is only like about two months old and I did a that's video awesome. on it. I mean, yeah, I did that? a video on it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you can start getting traffic pretty quickly. Whereas Google SEO, it, it's powerful, but it just takes a little longer, six, six months to a year. So. Cool. Okay. Okay. Well, Jonathan, I really, really appreciate you jumping on here and doing this video. Um, like I said, I saw you doing, um, little doggy. I saw you, um, with all your Pinterest and stuff. And so I really appreciate you doing this because like I said, you know, it helps me and it'll help a bunch of other people too, because starting it is the hardest thing. Cause once you start it sure. and you get yeah. in it, you know, then usually it's smooth selling from there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, once you get it going, once you get it set up, you get your 10 boards, you fill it up the boards and you can do it in like 30 minutes. So it's not that hard to do. Um, but yeah, once you set it up, you can start posting, start pinning and yeah, start making money with it. Start getting exposure to your brand. Heck yeah. Okay. Well, well thank I you. I appreciate so you having me, Shelly. Huh? I appreciate uh, you having me on here. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye. That came, uh, that came out really good.